Hello everybody, welcome back to this really short video in which I just would like to show you how to set up the Cork Nano Control 2 as a remote control and CC editor at the same time. Problem, if you connect the Nano Control for the first time to Logic, there's a dialogue asking you that a new device was detected and if you would like to install it automatically. If you do this, then you just get it as a remote control for play, stop and record, but all the sliders are assigned to the various buses in the mixer. So it gets a remote control for the mixer and not for the CC values. This is not what I wanted to have. So if you have this already done, just switch off everything, disconnect the cork, start logic, delete the surface, so then you can start from scratch. And I'll show you now how to do it. First thing to do is open up the cork control editor where you then can assign to the nano control all the different values, the CC values that you would like to assign to the sliders and the knobs that there are. Me personally, on the first slider, I have CC7, which is volume. On the second one, I have CC11, which is expression. And on the third one, I have CC1, which is modulation. Once you've done this, you go communication, write scene data and then with OK you write all this information into your Cork Nano control so the control knows exactly which commands to send. Then we switch over to logic and test it. I open up contact and as you can see if I move now the sliders dynamics and expressions they are just moving up and down and then you can play lines like this you see, just as playful as you like. Stop, play and record, they do not work yet. So you go to control surfaces, controller assignments, and then you just get into the learn mode. I press stop on the nano control. Here on command I say the global commands and then I just choose the one in this case stop. I do the exact same thing for play. I push play, global commands, play and as you can see if I push play the playhead starts, it stops it starts and record is just the same thing. Another real handy function is the previous and next track function. So I go into the learn mode, I hit previous track and then here in the commands I just say select previous track there it is and now, as you can see in Logic, if I hit this button, it goes from one track to the other, which is really handy. Next track is just the exact same thing. And yeah, I hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful for you. It was useful. If you have questions or comments, you know, leave them down below. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.